Now this was a lovely roof to be involved with. Underneath this roof they're going to do a loft conversion and we've been asked to put the new lead roof on and to do all the structural timber work to support that new lead roof. Now what I wanted to show you is actually the roof we're taking off was just about to start leaking anyhow. But if you see here, it started to split just where all these joints have been dressed over and around the lead rolls. So it was about time the roof was stripped anyhow. Probably been up there for 70, 80 years. We've taken all the timbers off, we've taken the joists out now, and we're looking down into the area which will be the loft conversion. So here we're going around the outside. We've already put all the new joists in, all with treated timber, all new furrings have already been put in, and we're just going around the perimeter now, putting in a vent, because this is going to be a cold roof. Here you can see all the detail. A lot of work to get all the falls correct. Now the lead man comes in and dresses all the panels and near enough the roof is going back to the way it was originally done because lead is a traditional thing and we're still doing it the same way as they did many many years ago with the exception is that we now weld all the joints rather than to dress the joints they used to be dressed and dressing used to stretch the joints and that's why when you saw beforehand the the, the crack in the lead uh, that lead had actually cracked because it had been weakened by the dressing and you can just see me here going around and I'm just checking to make sure that all the ventilation is free so the air can blow around this roof. There's external ventilation on all four external areas of this roof and all around the outside of this um, loft window. So the wind can blow right away through underneath this venting the roof. So if you need any more information please contact me. My name is Stephen from London Flat Roofing.